When somebody's had pain over six months and seen at least three doctors or therapists, what do you do? Well, docs and therapists, what you can use is adhesion release methods. This is our new technique for diagnosing and fixing adhesion, the most common cause of chronic pain in 30 to 60 year olds. There are six steps in order to make sure that you're using it properly. The first step is diagnosing people. We have seven data points that people need in order to figure out what their diagnosis is. Just because someone adhesion doesn't mean that if they have numbness and tingling down their leg, that they don't have a nerve problem. Or if they sit and have butt pain and wake up with butt pain, that's a sign that they have a disc problem that's shooting down to the butt cheek. So we need to know what their diagnosis is first. Step two is, do we have green light benchmarks for having adhesion? Those data points are, is their pain somewhere between five to eight out of 10? 10 out of 10 is usually not a good sign. It's a red light that someone has adhesion. So if we have green lights, it's worse with movement or posture. The pain is between five to eight out of 10. That's a green light that they have adhesion. Next, we pretend like we're being called to court. And then judge is asking us, why do you think that this person has adhesion? Do they have a provocative movement that loads a tissue in whatever body part it is that indicates that there's adhesion there? Is their range of motion restricted? And do we feel adhesion in that, that spot? If we don't have the provocative test or restricted range of motion, we don't feel adhesion, we don't go to step four. But if we do, then we move to step four, which is picking our tool. This is a wrench. So do we use our hands based on what we feel? Can we use a metal instrument or do we use a shock wave? The different tissues in the body respond to the different tools in that way. After we pick the tool, we go to step five and we actually treat it. And we must feel tension no matter which tool we're using in order to, be, to know that we're breaking down the adhesion. So we must feel like there's a rubber band underneath our finger and it's getting softer as we're treating it. Then step six, we're going back into the courtroom and the judge, and judge is asking us, is their provocative test better? Is their range of motion better? Is the adhesion softer? Is it smaller? These are indicators that we actually broke the adhesion down and we do this in real time in one treatment visit. We test beforehand, we test after, in between the treatment to make sure that we're actually breaking down adhesion. So these are the six steps to adhesion release methods. If we don't have those six steps, we're not using adhesion release methods and we can't count on actually getting chronic pain relief for our patients. So we must diagnose, have green light benchmarks that they have adhesion. We being called the court. What tissues are indicative based on the provocative movement, the range of motion, and the feel that there's adhesion there. We pick the tool, step five, we feel tension as we're treating it. Step six is our provocative test, our range of motion, and is the adhesion smaller or softer? This is adhesion release methods. Docs and therapists, if you're looking to get more permanent relief for your patients over the next six to 12 months, you can DM us adhesion release methods, and we can discuss if you're a good candidate for introducing this technique to your patients and getting better permanent pain relief results and fulfillment for your patients, changing lives and helping us with the chronic pain revolution. Dr. Chris, signing out.